Hello, hello, beautiful people. It's your girl, Diana D. Williams, and welcome to Death with the Blows Corner. I appreciate your support. I appreciate you having on. If you have been inspired, you or a former member, go ahead. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Hit that notification bell for incoming videos. Okay, family, let's get into it. Let's get ready for our Easter holiday and spring wine bottle decor. We're going to go through the process. Yes. So we're going to start with this empty wine clear bottle. This is bottle number one. We're going to clean the bottle. And I have a metallic pink acrylic paint. And instead of doing on the outside, we're gonna put that paint on the inside. I like to do what I call painting inside where you twirl the paint around. And you'll see it where I pick it up and it's twirling some of the paint around just to cover the inside of the bottle. That's what we wanted to do. So I'm twirling it, shaking, so you can see most of the pink has covered the bottle already. And this is with a metallic pink acrylic paint. You want to use that. It's really good for sticking on the inside of the glass. And that's what we want to do. Then I'm going to add some pink glitter so we can have a little bling and a little bit of sparkles to our bottle. So pink and blue. And then we're going to shake it up. Swirl and twist the bottle around so we can see some of the glitter on the inside, as you can see. Now let's go over to our computer laptop. We're gonna go to our Cricut Explorer Air 2. Yes, this is one of the things that I'm going to be using for my design. Uh, this is what I'm doing. I'm using my Cricut Design Space. It is connected to my Cricut Explorer Air 2. And so what I am doing is finding an Easter holiday SVG design, which means the image you're going to pick. And I have my holographic vinyl, which you'll see. So Cricut Explorer Air 2, as you saw in my previous video, was talking about the cutting machine. So I want to cut out this design and then I have a transfer tape. So you'll see that in a minute because when everything is done and you get that design set, then you can transfer the design to whatever object you want. That's what I love about this. So I am picking an Easter egg. That is my first design. Then there's my holographic permanent vinyl. It is an adhesive vinyl. So you want to get those vinyl. You might have to get the holographic uh, permanent removal vinyl. So I am placing it on a Cricut standard mat, 12 by 12 inch. There we go. So I found the first set of design. Now it's time to, for the cutting machine. I got it set on vinyl mode. There is the cutting needle, cutting, cutting material going through the design. So as you see, I did remove the vinyl, the holographic, it is on that white paper. So it is removable. I use a weeder as well. Now, I did have the transfer tape on that design and I use my weeder to make sure that the vinyl and the transfer tape stuck. Now, I'm using my weeder again to make sure that I get that vinyl sticking to my bottle. So that's the Easter egg. It's the Easter egg design. So you wanna do it a couple of times. Now, if you feel like you're ready to release that transfer tape, go ahead and release it. You see how the vinyl is sticking to the bottle. Very nice. And if you feel like some of it is sticking to 
the transfer tape, try to even off with a scraper so that it's easily done. Now, second bottle, we're going to cut out the Easter egg SVG image, like another image. Same process, we're gonna put the vinyl and holographic on the mat because we wanna get that to cut. I, and this image is the Easter, so there's like a, a bunny and an Easter word. Yeah, you see I'm using a spatula to get rid of the excess of paper. Got the transfer tape on there, using a weeder to make sure that it sticks to the transfer tape so that when I peel it off, it comes off the white paper and onto the transfer tape. You see that? There we go. Now I'm sticking it on the bottle. Next thing you wanna do, take the weeder, make sure you get every bit of that image, to, the vinyl to stick on the bottle. It might take maybe a minute, a couple of seconds, but you just wanna make sure the image and the words have removed itself from the tape, the transfer tape, and onto the bottle. There we go. So you see I'm taking a little time doing it because I want to make sure the word was staying on there. The year it was taking a little minute. But here it is. We got it to work. It's done. Now, second bottle complete, but we still got some work to do. Still got some little work to do. Yes. Now it's time for our little yellow Easter ribbon. So we're going to utilize that glue gun and I'm using the Gorilla glue stick. I find that it depends on the type of glue you use too. So that glue, Gorilla glue, that, yeah, we all know how adhesive that glue is. And it didn't leave me with a lot of strings. I like that. So I'm wrapping the ribbon around the top. And getting a plate for our ribbon. There we go, There's the ribbon on the first bottle, the Easter holiday bottle is complete. We still have that other bottle we gotta complete as well. So I like to use the cork light because this is the frosted bottle and it has a way of utilizing the light. So we're gonna apply the white cork light to this bottle. Then the last thing I'm using is a gloss spray paint because we that's to put the finish touch to the bottle. Then we're back to our first bottle in the beginning where we put that pink acrylic paint in there. Now the second design where Easter egg design. There was just several different Easter egg designs that I found on the Cricut Design Space. You can look it up. You can get it off the internet as well and apply it to your Cricut Design Space as well. But I just kind of went with the regular Cricut design. And I did the same thing that I did with the second bottle. I got the holographic permanent vinyl, went through the Cricut machine where it cut out the designs and that's pretty much what I'm doing. Um, I didn't have to use a transfer tape with this. I just kind of learned that this was more like a removal vinyl. So you can actually remove the vinyl from the white. So it was pretty simple and easy. That's it. There were Easter egg design and a butterfly design. So I really like this piece. So now we're still we're still applying the Easter egg and the S, the Easter egg SVG design. Still applying that. Now we are headed to our yellow Easter ribbon, and as you see on the bottom, I did apply some green glitter, and that's just to make it look more presentable, as though 
is the grass like the green represents the grass and the eggs you know like we're outside in Easter eggs or on the grass so I did that and now still gonna use the glue gun to apply the yellow ribbon and I'm working up my way to doing a bow for the ribbon but right now I'm just wrapping it around and then you'll see it later both bottles they'll have like their own way of their bows See, I'm trying to create the bow part of it. Mm -hmm. There we go, beautifully made. Hmm, and there we are. Easter egg basket complete. Yes, so I just wanted to just thank you for tuning into this DIY Easter spring holiday wine bottle decor we got more for you just come on back and be inspired and i just want to thank you and i appreciate you have an awesome blessed day